So our app looks uh, a bit messy, but it works now. You want to update this energy here. And it's located in a table that we haven't used yet. It's called food direct calories eaten. So let's go ahead and just edit the fields first. For guys, calorie, we can call them that. Food dice color in. So we know what this. Then we can update the database version. Okay. So in our home fragment. We go for Inelis Home. And we have this update table. And it loops through all of the food. And so this is all for breakfast. But we have to take care of the energy here. So let's call this update table items. Let's make a new one, update table headlines. So update table food direct calories eaten. It's much better. direct calories eaten and here we want the same the date is important the meal number is important let's just copy the table here okay This method was called at the table food diary calories eaten. Okay, so we open database connection. And then I'm thinking we should check is there are some already or do we need to make one? So if you go to our main activity, we have done this before. It was count. Okay, so let's make a select here. And we have to go to a TV adapter. So, cursor, cursor, diary, 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 okay, what fields do we want? I think we'll go for everything. Ok, 
the when it's from this table these fields and then make a count or loop to it so for paint and cursor let's say CE count equals cursor get count for int x equals 0 x goes to cursor count x plus plus Okay, we're inside it now. So we can actually just make take all the moves right away. So let's just print something, make sure that we actually have something here. Let's just run this first now. Okay, and let's just add something. One box of biscuits. I'm thinking maybe let's not run this from main. Let's go for the items first. And inside there, let's make this so we make everything in one. Make every page easier. So, uh, so this is select for really hard now. <laughs> Food diary color is even. Fields food diary color is even as high as this. Okay. So we're going in a loop. So let's just check where the date equals to string date. And this should it's none cursor as they see count get count no count get count wait I stopped working so let's put this, I don't know if it's this or this one, that's not working. Let's just try to run this one. Because there is nothing in the database corresponding to this. It's this one, okay. So try to do this. If 
förlåt. Sen, we have nothing in database, so we need to insert something. Insert this table. Fields and we want num input values and we want num and for the date we have it here and then uh, for the middle number we have it string min number square This one okay so if you can find it you will make it so we can try to run it once just just to see what happens Let's go to the database. Mm. And now we created it. We can put energy, proteins, carbs, and fat also to zero. To make uh, something so we know that this failed. Hint error DC, so it's at zero. If it fails, then we set it to one. Then we know we have to do this again. We have to select this again. Let's try it again. Stop working. Let's remove this string here. Yeah, we forgot.
Can the gene proteins conflict? Hmm, this was strange. Okay, it's this one, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. So in reality it should actually insert more rows. Round. Feeds. Date. String date. Not sure why this fails. So we'll try to print out the error now. food ID okay so it uses the wrong fields okay yeah it uses wrong fields version Nothing. Okay, let's add something. Okay, so there's nothing here. So this actually works. So let's do this another way. So let's count the size. To count. So if this is zero, then we'll do the insertion.
Yeah, it should be zero, so we should have done the insertion now. And we have. It's very good. Okay, so uh, the energy here should be the sum of the energies here. And to make this work, we need a more advanced select because we need to select more things. So we need a DB query with uh, more fields available for select. This is it, or it's or here. So let's make a select on your with the same of this, but with a string that's uh, arrays. Here is the method for looping through arrays. So now we have their clause, their condition. And now we need where. So then we have a, have a good thing here. So we make an uh, where and say that where equals where plus. This should be correct. I mean, this is complex, so I just need to print it first. So let me try to make one. So Um, 
wear clothes conditions and then we have the wear and all and we want and So let's try this new query. So now it's uh, this wear clothes, wear condition, and wear handle. So this should fail. Yeah, it failed. So that's good. So here should our where be. It looked really good. I think it was correct. Yeah, it's correct. And of course, this should be capitalized. This was cool. Just make a comment here what I did. So I'm testing for the date and the meal number. not exist then we will just create it and then we will pick it up okay so what I'm thinking now is that we should sum calculate and everything sum So int int energy goes to zero. Proteins. Carbs and then fats. And here we are inside the loop.
So here is where we should have the numbers. And they are located proteins, carbs, fats, energy, this is energy, so, so we should be able to get an integral of it, integral of this equals to, and is it int parse int? This one. So energy, and then we have a uh, things, carbs, and effect. So six. Now we can use these numbers here. Just run the code to check that we don't get errors. No errors, that's good. Okay, so let's update. Let's try to update the um, text view first. This one. This one. Let's see if we got everything correct now. So this one plus this equals this, yeah, and it's correct. Very good. So let's update uh, the table. Of course, this is not advanced enough.
Yeah, it, it is because we have the primer key now. So what do we want to update? Proteins. Carbs. Proteins, carbs, and fat. And now we need the value of the primary row. Cast it to a long. So, IP equals this. This needs this values. So now we have updated the food diary colors eaten table. So it should contain. Uh, oh, no, stop working. Shot. Why is there an error? It's this. So maybe it's this one. the parsing. So let's go up to here and think of why it's wrong. Do 
because we already had it here. This is my throw. Okay, let's inspect the table. So this is for today. Very good. Mm. Okay, everything is complete now. Let's just add the rest of the rows here. So we'll add, we have breakfast now, so we need to add the uh, uh, rest of the meals. Okay, so we have breakfast, so we need to add the rest. Let's just go to our Java, go to resources. to go to our strings and these are all the items lunch before after dinner snacks and supper so this was breakfast lunch 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 then lunch then the next one was For training, okay, 
and then if we off the training Next. And the last one, which was super. Yeah, that's good. Uh, okay, so if we run it now, um, we should uh, be able to add lunch before training. We should be able to add after training, dinner. Uh, there should there will be of course some errors, but in principle, we I think uh, I think that we have thought of everything. But uh, yeah, you never know if, if I forgot it. You can just go to a home fragment, just start on the top, just look. Did I forget anything? It's a nice home. They, this is the supper number, yeah, so it will always, always be zero. Yeah, it's for filling the table. And this has no on-click listener, so let's make on-click listener for the rest. This is a bad method of doing it, actually. <laughs> I'm thinking there should only maybe be one. Let's just do this. This is never used. I'm thinking maybe we should just have instead an icon up here, and then what uh, what uh, meal do you want to add? I think that would be much cooler than having all of these because we don't need them. If you don't go training, then you don't need before training. So let's just go to our menus. Let's add menu home. Oh, it's already here. 
it's a home icon. So let's go to the icon sites. Uh, Android material icons. So we need something for adding food. So maybe an apple and a breast or something. This one can work. Let's save that. Add, add circle. Cool if it was an apple or something. So here are some local dining, maybe this one. Yeah, I think that was the best. Because it's, yeah, then we know that this is food. We are adding food on the restaurant. Just say both. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. And right, this one. Restaurant. Let's make that icon. Uh, I see uh, action. Star front. Red corner white. Uh, home payment. Let's go to top. Inflate menu, and here we should say menu home. Let's test this. So I think there should be an icon here now. So menu item. Add food. Let's put this 
this one somewhere. Minimum. So this is I see a new restaurant icon. Maybe it's this one. Okay, so let's just go to my website and read. We have down creating. Yeah. yeah, this is what we are missing. Now we can click on it. Bad icon. You cannot imagine that this is food. Should be a plus or something on it. Uh, let's leave it for now. Okay. Uh, here is on on click. So if it's clicked, then we want to go to the same as here. I just go to diary. But first we need to get like a menu of uh, what meal. So add food to select meal number. Let's uh, create a layout for it. New layout. And this is probably just like a list, like and like this, and then just with the meal numbers. Let's just go and take a uh, 
go and just copy the text here. So the first one is uh, breakfast. Here is breakfast. Breakfast, okay. Text here, breakfast. And let's make uh, the next one mark on top eight. So Fragment home lunch. And then we have uh, for training. And then of course after then we have dinner. So it looks like this. Looks okay. So let's go to here and change the sign. Let's make listeners for the edit text. I feel like I have so many things now. Text here, yes. So let's find all the text books here. Listener, and then go for add food. This is zero. Lunch is number one. Let's 
for training S2. After training S3. Then there is four. So next is five. Super is six. Okay. Very, very good. this has stopped working hotta shock set menu new view new view id okay here it is looks very small the text I just learn how to set text size. I'll try this one. And maybe we have more margin. Okay, it looks a bit better. There should be a horizontal line. This is the color round. Yeah, I think it's okay. okay. It has to be darker. You may see. Can't, can't see that I'm Okay, and then you can click on uh, let's go for dinner. Let's go for dinner here. Rice. We eat this rice for dinner. And it happened to be in the breakfast. <laughs> That's not correct. One, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. Red food. So here we need S. 
building number and I feel like we have passed variables before and where where did we do that Here it is. And here is the middle number. So we just need to put it in here. Same here. Yes, we go for pop light, blah, blah blah. And then you click on one. And then you show food in the category. Then you click on a food. Now we're pretty long for in the code. So let's see if they, they remember our meal number is after we have clicked on the food or if it's lost before that lunch cheese and cheese meal number one so it's here it's not lost here okay Yes, and this. And you add food to diary. News meal number here. So let's see if they remember meal number here. So maybe it's actually correct. Maybe the only thing is that we didn't fix it on the front screen. So let's add some supper. I have a battery for supper. Yeah, it's correct. So it's only the matter of showing it in the home fragment. Select everything from here, it should be meal number. So 
of heats. Fields, the where, and it's where the, it's the where conditions, and it's the where and or. So what we are trying to get is the um, where the after date. Is this one? And where the after mean number is the string mean number Sending in these fields, this where, this condition, and this and all. So let's run this. Okay, no errors, that's good. At least we got no errors. Okay. And here are the problem. to zero then we are in breakfast Before training, after training. Crossed. 
There's some error somewhere. We are getting close to the end of this program. Yeah, here it takes place. So let's off before training. Let's do a shake before training. Health uh, protein powder, mean protein powder, add to diary. And it takes place here now. Super. update this now. So breakfast. training stopped working. What the shock. I think we need to do it something like this. See, we forgot number six. So, lunch before training, after training, snacks. And after training, then it's dinner. Should work. Yeah, now it actually works. Okay, um, so the last thing I think we're going to do in this program is to calculate a sum here of everything, and then I think we're finished. <laughs> 